It starts with a murder mystery, very much in the sort of the golden age of crime writing, like Agatha Christie, Dorothy L. Sayers, a book called Magpie Murders, set in an English village in the 1950s. So far, so familiar. But after about 170 pages, something rather strange happens. Just before the detective, whose name is Atticus Punt, is about to reveal who did it, the book stops, and you then cut forward to the 21st century into a publishing house where an editor is very puzzled because she's just received the manuscript and it's missing the last chapter. Who did it? And she can't find out from the author because, unfortunately, he's dead. So she goes back to his village to investigate uh, what has happened to the missing chapter and discovers two things. First of all, all the characters in Magpie Murders, the novel, exist in real life. They're based on characters that this author knew. And secondly, one of those characters has murdered the author. So you get a double who done it, and she realizes that by solving the mystery in the book, she might find out who killed the author, or vice versa. Uh, and and, it's, and the, what, what I think is fun about the book is the way these two worlds sort of mesh with each other. Not only is it a double who done it, it's a book about who done it, and why we read them, and why so many of them are set in English villages, why the British are so good at writing them, why we have such a, uh, a tradition of, of female uh, murder mystery writers. I am not the sort of writer who likes to play safe. I like to take risks. I like to do things that are different and challenging and I like to take uh, a twisty surprising approach to familiar ground and so it was inconceivable to me that I would simply write a whodunit which is why I came up with what is actually quite a complicated template this sort of double murder mystery investigation where one whodunit and a second whodunit are somehow interconnecting with each other but to me it wouldn't have been good enough simply to create a detective a sidekick have a murder and a solution you know there are plenty of those around there are plenty that have been written I wanted to do something new in the actual time of the writing when I'm sitting there with my pen and paper, I have a certainty, a confidence which is bordering on mania and arrogance. But, but that, I think, is necessary if you're going to write as much as I write. I finish the book, I sit back, and I look at it, and it's a work of absolute genius, and I am Charles Dickens. Three weeks later, once it's gone to the publisher and I'm waiting for the first reaction, the book is rubbish, it's awful, it's terrible, how could I have written it? I'm going to be discovered for the fake and the fraud that I am. So it's, it's a sort of a schizophrenia between total confidence and total apprehension and fear.